My natural thought is, donde esta la blender? I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. In the city of Teotitlan de Valle in Oaxaca is where you're going to find the best food in all of Mexico. I'm here with Abigail Mendoza, probably one of the most famous cooks in the area. And she's going to teach me how to make a tlayuda, which is basically a Mexican pizza. And it's delicious. Step one is roasting the avocado leaves and the chili. Pero el, el, las hojas de aguacate tienen que ser criollos, chiquitos, de sabor. No hojas grandes, tiene que ser oh, okay. ojo, chi, hojas chiquitas. Okay. Vamos, esto vamos a moler. A ver, yeah. ¿quiere? Yeah. If you want a serious arm workout, try using a matate. No, en esta no. mano no, así. Así. Ajá. Like that? Ajá. Okay. Es así. Ajá. How do you make it look so easy? That's crazy. Y ahora, ya okay. es el frijol. Okay. Oh, okay, let me try. No, 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 no dar vuelta, eh. So, no. un solo lugar. Solamente aquí, no aquí. Oh. Uh -huh. Like that? Uh-huh. Oh, I feel like we're going over the sides mm -hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Let me get that back. Okay. My matate skills definitely needed some work, so I just let Abigail finish that one. My natural thought is, donde esta la blender? But no, Abigail, <laughs> she's authentico. The friction from a blender's blades heats up the ingredients, which can change their flavors, while the matate keeps things cool as you grind away. The chef, however, works up a hell of a sweat. It's not exactly the normal mm -hmm. pizza ingredients, but mm -hmm. you know what, we're in Mexico, so I would expect that there would be some beans. The next step was definitely my favorite, prepping the cheese. The Oaxacan cheese is very much like mozzarella, so. Mm -hmm. There you go. When you were growing up, did your mother teach you how to make tlayuda? Sí. Mamá hacía las tlayudas en la mano, todo. Y ahorita voy a usar una prensa. The rest of the tlayuda ingredients include lettuce, meat, and an insane sauce made with fire-roasted chilies. This is a lot easier than the rolling pin. Whoops. Except for when you do that. Entonces, ahorita ya tenemos salsa, frijoles, verdura. This is a ball of corn and water, corn flour and water, and we're gonna go make eight tortillas with it. First, you knead the masa to mix it and dry it out. I feel like you're judging me on my kneading skills. And that's okay, because you know what? It feels like clay. I love it. I could do this all day. Then Abigail rolled out the masa dough with a giant stone rolling pin. All right, I'm gonna let you do this part because you know I'm not good at it. Fun fact, she does this every day. Molerlo así. Yeah. Para poder... Esta es una tortilla, la ayuda. Rolling the dough may not be my talent. Bueno. Uh -huh. But I was determined to make a tortilla because how hard could that be, right? And yes, that also requires manual labor. And, oh, okay, not so bad, but it's perfectly round. Then you gotta cook the tortilla for three minutes on each side over a huge griddle. And little did I know that tortilla placement is a whole nother skill. Okay, what do I do? I just messed it up, right? You know what, though? I'm happy because it's round and it's in one piece. Good job, me. Amazing. Okay, so this is the final step where we actually put all the ingredients together and make the Mexican pizza. This is mine. This is my sad tortilla uh -huh. that's already broken. Okay. Abigail showed me how to spread lard over the tlayuda. Then she added the beans and put the whole thing back on the griddle. Next up was the lettuce and then tons of Oaxacan cheese. I like a lot of cheese. I'm a dairy girl. Add some of the chili sauce and finally, ah, it's time to eat. Thank you. Abigail has taught me how to make the perfect Mexican tlayuda. Mm -hmm which is like a Mexican pizza turned into a calzone with steak on top, and yum. Let's go eat. Gracias. I'm excited. Yeah. And I'm starving. Okay, I'll take them both. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, I visit Oman's famous Mutra Souk in search of a good deal and get transformed into an Arabian fashionista.